Hello, Brentano violinists, and welcome to another virtual violin lesson. Today, we're going to begin with a warm up. So, let's go ahead and grab our violins and sing along with me. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll out front is mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Awesome! I hope we're all in rest position together with our thumbs and our thumb spots. Our feet are together. Our bow is pointed down. Awesome. Today for our warm-ups, we're going to do something a little familiar and something a little new. We're going to do our D major scale, something we already know how to do, and then we're going to do a D major arpeggio. I know I don't think we've all done that together in class, but a D major arpeggio shouldn't feel too unfamiliar since we've been working on our A major arpeggios. It's luckily the same exact fingering. Our A major arpeggio, we go open two, open E three. It's the same thing for our D major, open D two, open A three. So I'll review that when we get closer to it, but let's just start our warm-ups with a D major scale we're going to do that to whole notes, half notes, and then quarter notes. So let's see if you can guys go follow me into playing position. Okay, let's see if we can hold it here for 10, 9, and 8, and 7, and 6, and 5 and four and three and two and one good job and mirror hands all the way back and good bow holds check those bow holds bend thumb pinky on top round circle like a telescope let's go ahead and land our bows in between the tapes actually let's actually land our bow at the frog on the d string because we're going to start with whole notes today on our D major scale. So we're, I'm going to review you guys with, with our whole notes. We need to go from our frog all the way to our tip and make sure that we, we can hold our bow for four counts. And don't forget the shapes that we're going through. Small triangle, square, big triangle, square. All right, so um, everyone get on your D string at the frog. Listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. D, two, three, four. 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 Three, four, everybody D string first, five, six, seven, eight. D, two, three, four, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C sharp, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C sharp, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. Lovely job. We're going to now go ahead and play half notes to our D major scale. Listen first and I will count you in. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. D, two, E, two, F sharp, two, G, two, A, two, B, two, C sharp, two, D, two, D, two, C sharp, two, B, two, A, two. G two, F sharp two, E two, D two. Wow, we're 
we're doing so good. We have one more scale to do. We're going to do our D major scale to quarter notes. So let's pick up our bows and let's go ahead and move in between the tapes. Since quarter notes, we only hold that for how long? Just one beat. That is so fast. So we want to go back to doing short, short bows, short notes in between the tapes. So everybody get ready on the D string and listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. G, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, D, C sharp, E, A, five, six, seven, eight. so fast. Let's go ahead and just do that one more time for fun. Five, six, seven, eight. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Awesome job. Hold your violins up. That was so lovely. We are doing such good work today already. What a good warm up. Well, now we're going to learn something a little new. We're going to go over our D major arpeggio. How exciting! So the D major arpeggio is just like the A major arpeggio. The only difference is that we're starting on the D string. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring my hands close to the camera so you can see. We're starting on D. We're dropping two fingers for F sharp. Over to open A string. Then dropping three fingers for D. Just like the A major. Open A. D major arpeggio is just the same thing on D string. All right, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to try that all by yourself at home. And then we're going to do that together to whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. So try doing the D major arpeggio. Try that fingering out for yourself for 10 seconds. Awesome work, everybody. Let's go ahead and do the D major arpeggio together to hold notes. Listen to Miss Caitlin. Play it first. D, two, three, four. F sharp. Two, three, four. A. Two, three, four. D. Two, three, four. D. Two, three, four. Two, three. Four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Awesome. First try at doing an A, sorry, a D major arpeggio. That was so impressive. Okay, now we're going to try a D major arpeggio to half notes. So each note gets two beats. Listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. One, two, F sharp, two, A, two, D. D two A two F sharp two D two everybody five six seven eight D two F sharp two A two D two I'm sure that felt a little tricky, but you guys did so good. Okay, last warm up. We're doing the D major arpeggio to quarter notes. This one's going to be tricky because those quarter notes feel pretty fast. So let's go ahead and pick up our bows and move it in between the tapes for short notes. Let's listen to Miss Caitlin first. Everybody, five, six, seven, eight. D, F sharp, A. D, D, A, F sharp, D. One more time, just for fun. Five, six, seven, eight. D, F sharp, A, D, D, A, F sharp, D. Wonderful job. Rest position, feet in line. 
Now it's time to take a bow. Hi toes, hi toes, hi toes now. Great job. If you guys need to take a little break to grab some water, grab a really, really quick snack, you can do that. And I will see you in the next part of this video. Hello, welcome back to the rest of our virtual violin lesson, Brentano Violinists. We're actually going to start our lesson today going over Go Tell Aunt Rhody. I have really enjoyed the practice videos I've seen. Shout out to Alice and shout out to Ruby. I have really enjoyed all of your updates on Homeroom. And I'm really hoping that everybody else can share their practice videos because I'm eager to see how you're all doing at home. Okay. For Go Tell Aunt Rhody today, I actually really want to focus on the rhythm of this song because it's a little tricky. It's a little different than the other songs we've played. So I want us to all just start with singing the song together. Um, you can make up your own things that John ate at home. So let's all sing. Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. He ate a toy and a microphone. He even ate some dust balls. Blech. Go tell Aunt Rhody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rhody, John is sick in bed. Okay, that was super fun. Now that we've sung the song, we remember how it goes, how it feels, let's try to sing the song and clap the rhythm together. Ready? Go tell Aunt Rody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rody, John is sick in bed. He ate a candle and a cello. He even ate a old rag. Blech. Go tell Aunt Rody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rody, John is sick in bed. All right, now I want us to go ahead and get our bows out and see if you guys can follow my bow to the rhythm in the air. Let's first see if we have beautiful bow holds with a bent thumb, pinky on top, nice toes in the pool, and this guy's just hanging out. Great job. Can we all spy on each other for five seconds? Oh, I think I actually see you guys all at home. Oh, hi, Alice. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Lumen. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, Jacoby. Hi, Mary Gold. Hi, Juliana. How are you guys all doing? I miss you. Okay, done spying, done spying. It was nice to see you all. Okay. Follow my bow. Go tell Aunt Rody, John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rody, John is sick in bed. He ate a camera and some old wires. He even ate the whole fridge. Go tell Aunt Rody. John is very sick. Please tell Aunt Rody. John is sick in bed. You guys did so good. I think it's time to get our violins out. Everybody in rest position in five. Rest position in four. Rest position in three. Rest position in two. Rest position in one. Are you there? I think we are. Thumbs and thumb spot. Feet together. We're going to go ahead and play Go Tell Aunt Rody. Except I just want you playing open A. I'm going to play Go Tell It Rody, and you're just going to follow my bow. Focus on really getting that right rhythm with your bowing on open A, and we'll make a beautiful harmony. It'll sound like there's two violins playing instead of just one big violin. So feet together, rest position. And the goal of this is to really watch my bow so that when we do play all of Go Tell Aunt Rody, our bows are moving at the exact same time because we really feel that rhythm strongly. Okay, open A everybody, follow my bow. If 
five, six, seven, eight. time just playing open A you're still following my bow really try to get that rhythm right ready open A five six seven eight Awesome job. Now let's go ahead and play all of Go Talent Rhodey together. We will focus on the next, next virtual class, but today let's go ahead and just try to play the whole song together as one big violin. Follow my bow. We'll take it a little slow. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. One more time, just a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. You know what? We did so good. Let's go ahead and put down our violins for a second. I already am sensing a theme of my class today. I really want you to be able to follow my bow, even though we're not in the same room. I want to know that you, all the way from your home, can virtually still watch my bow so closely that we're still sounding like one big violin while we play together this way. So I'm gonna do a little exercise for us. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Oh Come Little Children, but first we're not gonna use our violins. We're not gonna use our bows. I want you just to follow my hand. Follow my hand the way that our bow would be moving to Oh Come Little Children. So everyone get your hands out, get those hands ready. I'm going to go ahead and put it against that black background so you can see it very well. Okay, everybody follow my hand. Hint, my hand will be going up first. Ready? Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, 
down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Okay, everybody, this time, no hands. Get rid of your hands. I just want to see if you can follow my foot. Can you follow my foot? Ready? Get your feet ready to follow my foot in the air. Hint, I will be going up first. Five, six, seven, eight. Up, down, little children. Up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children. Up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children. Up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Oh, that one was good. Okay, this time, I just want you to use your heads. Can you follow your head with my head at home? Get your heads ready. Am I going to get mine really ready? Okay. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Okay, this time, I want you to find an object in your room that you can use to follow my random object in my room. You have 10 seconds to find an object. Go. Okay, I'm not going to use my hands. Five seconds, find your object. Okay. Three, two, one. I found my object. This little, little caterpillar guy. Okay, ready? Follow Mr. Caterpillar. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little Little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Awesome. Okay, everybody, get your bows out in five. Get your bows out in four. Get your bows out in three. Get your bows out in two. Get your bows out in one. Okay, follow my bow in the air. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Everyone get your violins in rest position in five. Rest position in four. Rest position in three. Rest position in two. Rest position in one. Okay, we did it. We're going to play O Come Little Children all together. We're not going to sing it or play it as fast as we have just been singing it. We're going to take it a little slower, but I still want you to follow my bows all the way from home. Feet together. Out. Upside down. On your head. Slide it down. All the way back. Good bow holds. Land it in between the tapes on the E string. Remember, we're going up. First, small bows between the staples. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, five, six, seven, eight. Now 
now it's time to take a bow. I toss, I toss, I toss now. Great job, great job. I'm going to go ahead and put your violins down. Okay. So I want to play a few games with us today. I know this has already been such a fun class full of songs, and now we're already playing games, but I just think we deserve it. I think that we've been working so hard, and I've really enjoyed our updates online. So I'm going to ask everybody, if you're sitting down right now, can you stand up? Can we all make sure we have like a little bit of space to move around? Like I don't even have that much space, but I can go like this, and I can go like this. I actually, I can't jump up. And that will hurt my head. Uh, but I can go forward a little bit and back a little bit. I can move around. So make sure you have a little bit of space to move around. Okay, fantastic. Okay, I'm going to play a song on my violin. And I need you to listen and see if you hear if I'm playing forte or if I'm playing piano. And if you think I'm playing forte, I want you to dance big and loud and if you know what song I'm singing you have to sing the, the lyrics as loudly as you can when I'm playing forte but if you think I'm playing piano then I need you to get really low and soft and make small small small, small soft movements and and if, if you know the lyrics to the song I'm playing then you're gonna sing them as quietly as possible so quiet that nobody can hear Okay. Everybody ready? Listen if I'm playing forte or piano. <laughs> Awesome job. All right, we have one more game today. Okay, we have one more game today. I know that you guys probably already know the dance to Allegro, but some of us don't always remember the dance super well. And I thought it'd be so fun that after all this time of not seeing each other, the next time that we're in class, we can all do this dance together, like we choreographed it and we're all professionally doing the dance moves at the exact same time. Okay, so can we all make sure we have our dancing space out? We don't have to move as much as we probably did for that last game. Let's still make sure we have some dancing room. And I'll review the dance moves and the lyrics for everybody that doesn't remember Allegro. Okay, hands out. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, Ankles, ankles, clap. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. Lightly swaying, swaying lightly, gently as the music flows hold it hold 
hold it as long as you can, for as long as the note is being held. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. All right, let's do that one more time where I'm dancing with you, and then I'm going to do it on my violin. If, you're, if your parents are around and they want to take a video of you doing that dance at home, to me, doing it on the violin, I would love to see your practice choreography, your practice dance moves, so that when we see each other, we know that we're going to nail it. Okay, get ready to do it together. Five, six, seven, eight. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. Lightly swaying, swaying lightly, gently as the music flows. Hold it, hold it. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. All right, one more time. I'm going to do my violin, but I still want you to do the dance at home. I'm going to give you a second to beg your parents to record a video of this. Okay? You got five seconds to get your parents to record a video. Okay. Now I need you to go ahead and get your violins out back again. Everybody in rest position, feet in line. Scroll out front is mighty fine. Check your bridge because it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. Hi toes, hi toes, hi toes now. Awesome. We're going to end class today doing a song that I think we're all pretty familiar with. We're going to go ahead and we're going to play lightly row. I'd like to play lightly row through two times but first i love this song i love the lyrics to it. it always makes me so happy so while we're in rest position let's go ahead and let's just sing the song together first hello mouse in your house i am walking up your stairs hello mousey in your housey open up and let me in won't you let me eat your cheese on your sofa, pretty please? Hello, mousey, in your housey. Open up and let me in. Okay, let's get into playing position together. Five, four, three, two, one. Brr. E string in between the tapes. Listen first, I'll count you in. Five, six, seven, eight. job just one more time five six seven eight
beautiful job, rest position. Now it's time to take a bow, high toes, high toes, high toes now. Amazing work, everybody. This was such a great lesson today. I cannot wait to see your practice videos at home. We've done such amazing progress from home already, I can tell. I hope you're working hard. I hope you're earning your stickers and your tickets. Mm -hmm. I hope to see you guys soon. So until next video, happy practicing.